twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright star through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gay. My fellow classmates, I know you may still feel as though that the race is never ending, or that the hurdles are still too high for you to overcome, or that the baton is taking forever to reach to you. My mom and dad always reminded me that Malik, your goals come at a cost. And no, they weren't talking about tuition. Well, Hopefully not. But they say that your goal comes at a cost of your sweat, your patience, your sacrifice, and yes, your sleep. So whenever you feel like giving up, always remember why you have started. That sometimes in life, we may start off on the wrong leg. However, it is okay to take water breaks and ask help until we find our rhythm back. It has reminded me that it is necessary to focus on being slow and steady. My fellow classmates, I want to leave you with a secret. In this race of life, not every spectator is going to cheer for you. Not every spectator is going to want you to win. But that is perfectly okay. We have trained and we have sweat for this moment. And I do believe that our strong work ethics was built on the words of Martin Luther King Jr. who once said, if we cannot fly, then run. If we cannot run, then walk. If we cannot walk, then crawl. But whatever it takes, we have to keep moving forward. Is that your graduation marks your passage into adulthood? The time when you begin to take charge of your own life. It's when you get to decide what's important to you, the kind of career you want to pursue, who you want to build a family with, the values you want to live by. And given the current state of the world, that may be kind of scary. If you'd planned on going away for college, getting dropped off at campus in the fall, that's no longer a given. If you are planning to work while going to school, Finding that first job is going to be tougher. Even families that are relatively well off are dealing with massive uncertainty. Those who were struggling before, they're hanging on by a thread. All of which means that you're gonna to have to grow up faster than some generations. This pandemic has shaken up the status quo and laid bare a lot of our country's deep-seated problems. From massive economic inequality, to ongoing racial disparities, to a lack of basic health care for people who need it. It's woken a lot of young people up to the fact that the old ways of doing things just don't work. That it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry and sick. And that our society and our democracy only work when we think not just about ourselves, but about each other. It's also pulled the curtain back on another hard truth, something that we all have to eventually accept once our childhood comes to an end. You know, all those adults that you used to think were in charge and knew what they were doing, turns out they don't have all the answers. A lot of them aren't even asking the right questions. So if the world's gonna get better, it's gonna be up to you. That realization may be kind of intimidating, but I hope it's also inspiring. With all the challenges this country faces right now, nobody can tell you, no, you're too young to understand, or this is how it's always been done. Because with so much uncertainty, with everything suddenly up for grabs, this is your generation's world to shape. Since I'm one of the old guys, I won't tell you what to do with this power that rests in your hands, but I'll leave you with three quick pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid. America's gone through tough times before. Slavery, civil war, famine, disease, the Great Depression, and 9-11. And each time, we came out stronger. 
usually because a new generation, young people like you, learned from past mistakes and figured out how to make things better. Second, do what you think is right. Doing what feels good, what's convenient, what's easy, that's how little kids think. Unfortunately, a lot of so-called grown-ups, including some with fancy titles and important jobs, still think that way, which is why things are so screwed up. I hope that instead you decide to ground yourself in values that last, like honesty, hard work, responsibility, fairness, generosity, respect for others. You won't get it right every time. You'll make mistakes like we all do. But if you listen to the truth that's inside yourself, even when it's hard, even when it's inconvenient, people will notice, they'll gravitate towards you, and you'll be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Well, today, I'm not going to waste your time with empty cliches. Instead, I'm going to give you real practical advice that you will need to know if you're going to survive the next few years. First, adult acne lasts longer than you think. I almost canceled two days ago because I had a zit on my eye. <laughs> Guys, this is important. You cannot iron a shirt while wearing it. <laughs> Here's another one. If you live on ramen noodles for too long, you lose all feelings in your hands and your stool becomes a white jet. Real advice for them as well, parents, you should write this down. Many of your children, you haven't seen them in four years. Well, now you're about to see them every day when they come out of the basement to tell you the Wi-Fi isn't working. <laughs> If your child majored in fine arts or philosophy, you have good reason to be worried. The only place they are now really qualified to get a job is ancient Greece. 20, as you celebrate tonight, do not forget your safety net. Every teacher, every coach, every pastor, they along with your friends and family got you to this moment. And now it is time to go to a new place. It is time to chase every dream, accept every challenge, strive for greatness. Honor every promise and recommit to your community. My message to you is very simple. Think big, not small, and help us create the nation that we all know we can become. Thank you all very much. You know, the word graduate comes from the Latin gradus, meaning a step toward something. And in the early 15th century, graduation was a term used in alchemy to mean a tempering or refining. Every one of us is now being called to graduate, to step toward something, even though we don't know what. Every one of us is likewise now being called to temper the parts of ourselves that must fall away, to refine who we are, how we define success, and what is genuinely meaningful. And you, the real graduates on this day, you will lead us. I wish I could tell you I know the path forward. I don't. There is so much uncertainty. In truth, there always has been. What I do know is that the same guts and imagination that got you to this moment, all those things are the very things that are going to sustain you through whatever is coming. It's vital that you learn and we all learn to be at peace with the discomfort of stepping into the unknown. It's really okay to not have all the answers. The answers will come for sure. Do you know who I am? No, I, I can't say that I do. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Really? People know me. Well, I'm very happy for you. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations Cal. Cal. We, we are, are so, so proud, proud of you. you. Callan, congratulations on graduating. I could not be more proud of you. Thank you so much for including me and Spencer in your life for the past 20 years of your life. We love you so much and wish we were with you. Hi, Cal. Congratulations to you. We're all very proud of you. We're going to see you a lot this summer. Hey, hey Cal. Cal.
Congrats on graduating. See you soon. Congratulations, Congrats, pal. pal. Wishing you a happy grad graduation. Very we proud you of you. Miss you. Love you. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Kyle. You did it. And I love you. So cheers to you. Class of 2020. We love you. Diploma. Suffix. Class of 2020. Cal, I know you don't have your actual diploma, but I have one. Cheers to you, Calvin. Congrats. Cal. An honor of you. Congratulations, Cal. <laughs> Coronavirus and all. Love you. Hey, Cal. We're just entering back into Ohio. We're looking forward to seeing you later this weekend to offer our personal congratulations on your graduation and with honors. We're so proud of you, Cal. We love you so much. See you soon. Bye. Callie B, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. You've done it. It's done. Hello, Cal. Congratulations. Hey, Cal. Congratulations. Just want to say, uh, you know, the best wishes for your future. And I don't want to sound too corny, but, you know, I know you put a lot of work in. So, uh, you know, it's it's very meaningful and uh, so glad that you uh, made Boston your home for a while. And someone once said, it doesn't matter how fast you go as long as you finish. Well done. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's your task. So. Well done. All the best. Congratulations. All right. Bye-bye. Go try. Alan Bowers graduated from college? Yes, he did. He did indeed graduate. He did indeed graduate from college. Cal, congratulations, dude. You did it. Check the box, and I'm proud of you. Callan, congratulations on graduating. You're a good friend. I love you, and your sensibility, trust in other people, and your kindness will take you very far in life. Thank you for being a good friend. And I am excited for whatever comes next for you, my friend. Congratulations, Cal, on your graduation from college. Quinn and I are so freaking proud of you. Cal, happy graduation. I'm so proud of you. Um, love that I got to experience one of your college years in Columbus. Seriously, so much fun living with you. One of the best years of my life. Gonna miss dinners on Wednesday and jumping on your bed drunk at night. <laughs> um, but you did it! Congrats! Yay! Cal! Congratulations! Welcome to the real world, bitch! Congrats to the 2020 college graduate! So proud of you! So happy for you! You did it! Way to go, Cal! Woohoo! Love you! Congratulations! Cal and Alan Bowers, congratulations on graduating college! Very happy for you, very excited for you, very proud of you, man! Way to go! Hi, Congratulations! For the most memorable class of 2020, you're never going to forget this. Congratulations! We can't wait to see what's next for you. Congratulations, Cal! Hey, Cal! Congratulations! I heard you graduated from college. Very proud of you. Nice job. Congratulations, Cal! Uh, <clears throat> it's a great event. Graduating from college. Hope, hope you use it for your own benefit. Congratulations, Cal. We're real proud of you. Enjoy the road ahead. Love you. Hey, Cal. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. Love you. Congrats, Cal. I knew you could do it. So proud of you. I hope you enjoy today and really celebrate hard. Have another drink on me. See ya. Congratulations on graduating, Callan. It's been really awesome to be your friend the last several years and to see how much you've grown. I am so proud of you for figuring this out and finding the path that feels right for you. And I'm so excited to see what you do next. I love you. Dear Cal, 
We marvel at your success and we know your future is filled with new challenges and victories. Love you, Nana and Papa. <laughs> Congratulations, Cal. Good work. Good job. One, two, three. Congratulations, Cousin Cal from the PJ Masks. I got this, Dad. That was easy. And the Lockridges. Hey, Cal. Congratulations on graduation. I'm really proud of you and can't wait to see what comes next. Callan, you did it. Congratulations, friend. Cal, you have worked so hard and we are so proud of you. It's finally paid off. You are a graduate. Congratulations. Love you. Congratulations, Congratulations Cal. Cal. We love you and we're so proud of you. Whee! Congratulations, Cal. Choose a goal for which you are willing to exchange a piece of your life. Miss you, buddy. Congratulations! Happy, Happy graduation, graduation Cal. Cal. We're so proud of you and we're excited to see where life takes you. We love you. Cal's college graduation limerick. By sheer determination, the support of six schools, family, and friends, we have a graduate. Cal, who earned the distinction of magna cum laude by choosing a Walden style path, not well traveled or straight. So many math calculations, caffeine, and hit the books time, weaving in perseverance, enthusiasm, and dramatic flair to develop his run. Climb you did, Cal, to the top of this peak. We are so proud of your accomplishments. Let's celebrate. Congratulations, Cal. I'm so proud that you finished up. It was a long, long track. You hung in there. Wasn't always easy, but you persisted and it's gonna all pay off for you. Love you.